So guys, you know who is this bad boy? This is the two-headed King Rex. It's um, Rex Raptor's um, best dinosaur card and he also played him together with the red eyes black dragon in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh. This card is really iconic and I really love him. Later also cards like Gilasaurus or Sabersaurus came out and Konami started to um, support the dinosaur theme more and more. And also the first dinosaur structure deck came out with um, the Super Conductor Tyranno and also the Ultimate Tyranno. I really just love the pure power of those dinosaur cards. You can see uh, 3300 attack points and really, really strong effects. Um, but unfortunate, um, unfortunately, those cards aren't strong enough anymore and you can't really play them competitively. But Konami also made a really um, nice decision. They just thought about Let's take the Superconductor Tyranno and the Ultimate um, Tyranno and just make one new boss monster out of them. And that was, um, yeah, the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This is one of the strongest boss monsters um, Yu-Gi-Oh has ever seen. And that's why I decided to make a deck um, that can bring this card out as fast as possible. I call it the UCT Turbo deck. So this is a UCT Turbo deck, so I'm playing also three t times um, the Ultimate Conductor Tyrant, but this card is just insanely strong. And um, yeah, the mo most of the time the people play uh, like two or only one word, um, copy of him, because he can brick if you draw too much, uh, uh, too many copies of him, but you can also just use him for... Um, uh, for the evolution pill to just um, banish him and get another one out of the deck or um, just um, special summon um, two of those. Um, you can special summon easily two um, ultimate conductor Tyranno in one turn if you draw one and one pill. Uh, that's really no problem. So I'm playing free, I'm I'm fine with playing free and sometimes if the game is, um, is really long and you really grind hard and um, you're really glad that you have a, a third copy of him. Then I'm playing two uh, two times uh, Overtex Quadless. Um, yeah, you don't really want to draw him either, but um, you when you draw him, you will still have one in the deck that you can ditch with Obidraptor and get the pill. And um, also, if you draw him, it's not that bad because um, if you have an Ultimate Conductor Tyranno in your hand, you can just um, activate his, his effect and ditch the Overtex Quadless and get another uh, pill to your hand. Um, and sometimes you also want to summon him with um, the pill. It depends on the matchup, but um, if you summon him first turn and then tribute himself to um, uh, an inlaid, um a spell or trap card and you get will get another a double evolution pill and get your game going. And then I'm playing obviously three Oviraptor to get out um Quadless in the grave and yeah this card is just amazing. You will use his um first effect to get a dinosaur um on the hand or uh, in the grave um way more often than the second effect in the stack but um I can show you a combo later where you also use the second effect. Um then the newest addition to the deck is <laughs> Dino Wrestle Pankatops, such a strong card. Um you can play this card in almost every deck right now and <laughs> It's even stronger um, when you play him in dinosaurs. Then for the one-off dinos, I'm playing um, one potato Ranodon, and I decided to play potato Ranodon um, instead of baby Sarasaurus, um, because you can just get dinosaur pancakes out of with this card. So I I see no reason to play um, the the smaller guy because I'm playing only one baby um, dino in this deck, and um, so you can get cards. Um, with level 4 and above, so you can just play Petitina Ranodon. And also, I'm playing obviously one Miscellaneousaurus and one Giant Rex, those cards are just really strong, and you don't need one more, uh, more giant, uh, more than one Giant Rex, and I would play more than one um, Miscellaneousaurus, but he's at one, unfortunately. Um, now we're coming to some more spicy decks. Um, I played this deck before, um, and I played it with free Armageddon Knight, but um, unfortunately Armageddon Knight got hit on the ban list. Um, it was 
I guess it was a good hit because um, the Dark Warrior FTK deck w was way too strong. It's still strong, but not as strong as before. So it was a good hit, but um, the, it also hits this deck. So I had to find um, cards to replace this uh, card. And so um, I thought about Summoner Monk and I think Summoner Monk is pretty strong. Yeah, it's really bad if you get hit by Nash Blossom and um, just lose two cards and because you also have to ditch the spell card but if the effect goes through this card is so strong because you will um just special the over raptor from the deck and yeah you're playing um uh, with the uh, fossil dig card and um, you're playing like nine over raptors with with this lineup and so you will also get to your ultimate uh, you will always get to your ultimate conductor trirenum uh, in case you don't want to play Summoner Monk, um, you can just replace Summoner Monk with something like Pot of Duality um, or maybe uh, Card Destruction or Reasoning. Those are all pretty good cards you can play. But I'm playing enough um, targets for the Summoner Monk. I'm playing like uh, 14 spell cards, so you can just ditch um, uh, one uh, one pill that you have in the hand and you can't use or something like that. And yeah, I, I really like Summoner Monk. I can show you a pretty nice combo with Summoner Monk um, after I showed you the deck. Then um, for the hand traps, I'm playing free effect waiter, um, free ghost ogre, and also free ash blossom. So a total of nine hand traps. Um, I, I like this lineup. Um, you could um, replace um, the ogre and the waiter with something different. I don't know, draw lockbird. Uh, or stuff like that, but I, I really like this lineup, and um, it's important that you play um, those nine hand traps as real hand traps. And um, if you play stuff like impermanence, yeah, impermanence is way stronger than effect raider. But um, those um, are not only for interrupting your opponent. You also really need those cards um, to get banished for the double evolution pill because you will always need one dinosaur and one not uh, uh, not dinosaur monster to banish to get your ultimate conductor trainer. So it's really important that you have um, non dinosaur monster as targets in your deck, and then they uh, and. Hand traps are perfect for that because they go to the grave and then you can banish them with double evolution pill in the next uh, turn or when it's your turn. So it's a going second deck. So you um, just interrupt your opponent, then it's your turn. You get your evolution pill, banish a dinosaur and um, like the ash blossom or stuff like that. And that's also the reason why I decided to um, not play gamma because gamma uh, just banished itself uh, itself and. Then you can't banish him with the double evolution pill, so I decided to play Effect Whaler. That's it for the monster lineup. Now for the spell cards, I'm playing three double evolution pill. And most of the people only play two or one. I think this card is really strong and you also want to hard, hard draw this card. Um, if you draw this card and the Novi Raptor um, and have a non dinosaur target in your hand or in the grave, um, it's an instant Lagia and also an ultimate conductor Tyranno. So this card is really not bad if you hard draw it. And if you have two in your hand, you can just ditch one for Summoner Monk. Um, I really like Double Evolution Pill and I also like to play it um, three times. So. Um, for the another go, uh, for more going second card, it's Forbidden Chalice. I, I really love Forbidden Chalice. This card is so strong in this meta, and um, it's also really good if you go first. Um, yeah, this card is really strong, and um, you could replace this with Impermanent. Uh, uh, Impermanent. I feel like this is the. Um, let's say a bit weaker in permanence, but in this deck if you play Summoner Monk, if you just um, take out these Summoner Monks and play something like um, uh, Port of Duality, um, better play in permanence, but I like this, this is a spell card and you can also ditch it for Summoner Monk, but um, this card is really good, going first, going second, really strong card, Forbidden Chalice is really strong, I like it. And then also free Fossil Deck, um, you can <laughs> search uh, nearly any dinosaur in this deck and play it at free. Then also Mind Control, really good, going second card, get you the Thunder, Dra uh, uh, Thunder Dragon, so you can search again, so this card is really versatile and strong. And also one Foolish Bur Burial, um, the most of the times you draw this card, um, 
you have a really good hand and can do really much stuff. And for the last um, three cards, three instant fusion, also spell cards, if you have two of those, um, just ditch one for some or stuff like that. And um, you can get lo uh, out um, Thousand Ice Restrict and Millennium Ice Restrict, so this card is really strong and I really like to play this card. Alright, then for the side deck, um, I'm playing one Borrow uh, Boro Sword and one Borrow Dragon. Um, yeah, I finally got a Borrow Dragon, so I can also play Borrow Dragon. Um, in my last videos, um, where uh, a lot of people just wrote uh, in the comments, why you play Borrow Load Dragon, better play Borrow Sword Dragon. Now I have a Borrow Boro Sword Dragon. Now <laughs> I play both of them. I really liked both of those cards. They're really strong. And then for obvious reasons, Summon Sorceress and Reprodocus. Really, Reprodocus is really strong in this deck. Um, and also for the Nightmares, Unicorn and Phoenix and one Linko Revo. That's it for, um, for the Link cards. Now for the Exceeds. I'm playing five Exceed monsters. Um, Dolka, Lagia, Abyss Dweller, Baguska and also Dark Rebellion. Um, yeah, Lagia and Dolka, obviously really strong cards. Um, Abistrella also pretty strong, uh, really strong Floodgate if you have to go first. Um, Baguska also a strong Floodgate. And Dark Rebellion is just in here to OTK your opponent. This is a really strong card to go OTK um, because you also get your materials uh, into the grave and most of the times those are uh, OV Raptor and um, Giant Rex and um, then you can, if you have one more um, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, you can banish those two and um, get another Ultimate Conductor Tyranno on your field. So this is a really strong OTK card and um, for the Insufusion targets I'm playing Thousand Ice Restrict, Millennium Ice Restrict, and also um, <laughs> Dark Fire Dragon. This could be any um, um, like four star fusion monster. I just have this one, so <laughs> I'm playing this one. It's just really for instant fusion um, to go into a Baguska, Dark Rebellion, or a Bisswell. Maybe in the first turn, you just have Giant Rex and. Uh, and in Suffusion you just summon him and summon the Giant Rex and go into Baguska or Abistrello. And also for um, the Thousand Ice Strike and Millennium Ice Strike, Thousand Ice Strike really good um, going second and Millennium Ice Strike really good to dodge hand traps. Uh, I also have an original an original one but it's at my parent, parents' house so <laughs> I'm just using a proxy right here. So that's it for the extra deck. And now for the side deck. You really, really have to play Backrow Hate. So I'm playing three Red Reboot and also three Turn Twister against Altergeist or Two Draco or even uh, Sky Striker. You really have problems and playing against them because if they negate your OV Raptor, it's most of the time it's over. So you really have to play Backrow Hate. I and you could also. Played two of those in the main deck, and maybe get out um, some instant fusions or uh, the mind control. It's always up to personal preference, and um, I also decided to play even more back row hate. Um, I'm playing three Denko Seka in the side deck. Um, I know this deck is heavily reliant on his normal summon to normal summon Ovi Raptor, um, but. If you norm some over raptor and re um, get interrupted, it, it doesn't help you. So better just uh, norm some Denko Seka, wait one turn, and then norm some the over raptor, and then get into your game. Because if they interrupt you, most of the time uh, you don't have much to do. And that's it for the back row. We hate nine cards to dodge <laughs> the opponent's back row. And um, now I thought about that. Um, to play in some more going first first cards, um, you play in a deck with um, you can um, with that you can win with only playing dinosaurs. So why not play in Rivalry, Rivalry of the Warlords? This card is really good going first, but you can also use it to um, going second to just um, destroy the opponent's board. So um, 
this card is sometimes an instant win against um, decks, so why not play it if you can only use your... Yeah, you, can, you can't you can use your extra deck anymore. Um, but um, one use T is sometimes enough, so play rivalry. And also I'm playing um, those three cards, and um, those are really up to personal preference. Um, you could also pl uh, play three strikes, so um, it doesn't really matter. I like those uh, cards against Sky Striker, and also um, this one is good against uh, nearly every deck. So um, that's it for a side deck. Thank you guys for watching this deck profile, and um, stay tuned for more deck profiles. And um, I also made another video um, with the combos with Summoner Monk and also one standard combo. Um, you just have to click the link and um, you can see how this deck works and how you can play with it. And also please leave a comment and tell me your opinion about this deck.